you owe, you owe £1,200. I said, no, not a chance. And when he told me the name of this person, my ass caved in. Right, Dad, um, shall we tell them about um, what happened with a certain person from Ireland when uh, I moved to Ireland? I was living in Ireland and... Uh, you I got chased out, yeah. Dad, I didn't get chased <laughs> out. Anyway, what had happened? I'll say this. Uh, anyway, we, went, on, to, we went to... I went to Ireland, went to live in Ireland. We met a really, really nice woman once here at the first... She at was. First, at we first, really she nice was top. Woman. She bred... Bred numerous derby dogs, best best breeding in country. Because you couldn't you couldn't knock all that. You couldn't knock out she kept them either, could you, Dad? Couldn't knock. Couldn't, you couldn't knock out she kept them couldn't, and went over there. Yeah, either. and she treated us with so much respect, and she were good. Anyway, we'd got I'd gone over. Uh, she rang me. She says, "Chris, I'm um, I'm going to um, Dublin to go to get my teeth done, which is three hours drive. Right? Can you get me a lift there? Yes. Can you look after a bitch for me while she's pupping? Yes." She had no pups, and this was eight o'clock in the morning, uh, frosting up and down, tin circles. Bearing in mind, the bitch would be worth a good bit of money, wouldn't she? The pups, the, were, the pups, the pups were. were worth an hell of a lot of money. Anyway, so yeah, so I started pupping them up to seven, eight pups she had. Um, and when she got back, everything settled, bitch down, no, wind, no, no problems, no nothing. Um, I'd said to her, um, right, thank you, she says, I'd, I'd said, anyway, she says, uh, yeah, thank you. I'll tell you what we'll do, pick a bitch. I said, I've already picked it. Uh, we're going to ask you anyway. She said, well, you can have a bitch. I said, right, which bitch? She, I said, the like brindle bitch. So anyway. What she said was, yes, you can have one. And he says, when am I taking it? She said, no, she, he said, how much do you want for it? And she says, not a penny. So after she says, not a penny, he says, right, well, three month old, I'll pick it up. Came back to England. And then after three months, she rang her and says, can you keep a bitch a bit longer and I'll pay you for it. And she says, you won't pay me a penny. I'll keep this bitch until she's 12 months old, will it? I'll send her over, name her, you won't pay a penny. But I did, this were all through Messenger. So yeah. we're all, 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 all written down. All written down. And, you know. So anyway, the bitch comes across and uh, we went to pick her up and everything like that. Bitch were pretty shy and timid and all this. Bitch wasn't a problem to us anyway. Did, we've, we've did, I you, did I give you? Cause you I took dad, her, did I, I give you? Because you and Dad, did I give you? No, in the meantime, before she came over. Don't say I owed you money. No, you didn't owe me. <laughs> Not like the other way around. <laughs> Shut up, Dad, now. Um, <laughs> no, the bitch came over, she's timid and all this lot. And how's she getting on? So sending her videos of her trialing here, schooling and that lot. Then all of a sudden, um, she says, Where's the 1200 euros? Yeah. Where's, where, where, where's, where's, where's the 1200? What 1200 euros? Your CJ owes us 1,200 euros. I says, oh, right, okay, I'll, I'll get in touch with him. Bring him up, watch it all about life. So he rung her, and she said, for rearing and that. And Chris, well, you said you don't want a penny off me. And, she, and he says, I don't really I don't really want the bitch, and I'm not paying 1,200 euros for the bitch. You can take her back if you want. She says, no, 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 you have her, you have her. So I got numerous calls from her saying, can you help me out? Will you, will you buy the bitch and all this lot, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, I won't get you 1,200 euros, but as a goodwill gesture to calm everything down, I'll pay you 600 quid for her. I says, and um, leave it at that. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Anyway, the bitch turned out to be, she never raced, did she? Never, never, she raced. never even changed. She had never a shoulder, even, she, she had a shoulder. Yeah, she had a we shoulder. Sent her, we sent her to um, Tracy Croydon. Yeah, to, yeah to, Tra um, Tracy Clayden. Clayden to Clayden. Um, school. He's in ground. Uh, he's in the, 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 She were out. Fantastic trip. Yeah, she was brought. She was a good friend. But what she didn't know about schooling, it wasn't worth knowing anyway. So I sent it to her, and then after the second schooling trial, she says, I want to get her checked out. So a bloke, you know, Daryl Lopper, the physio, he went over, checked her out for us, and he said, Lenny, she's got a shoulder, an, an old injury, she's been bit, an old injury that she'll never, she won't race. Right, fine, we're retired, so we re home they paid money out to re home and, and all that lot. And then I was at work one night, and my other son, uh, over at Dogs with Nicky, ran me up and says, Dad, he says, says um, I've just had a stupid phone call from so-and-so, so-and-so, in Ireland, yeah. He's told me that he's a net recovery agency for for this lady, and you owe, you owe her £1,200. He says, no, not a chance. And when he told me the name of this person, my ass caved in yeah. because he's a bad man. Bad, 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 bad man in Ireland.
It works for a, it works for so, a big debt recovery. Me being as, as hard as I am. Rang <laughs> <laughs> me. No, I rang him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, try yeah, get yeah, all yeah. this no, glory, no, you kid. It was Nicky that rang me. And said, yeah. You better sort yeah, this that, out. I so think, I rang him up uh, in my break at work and that lot, and I told him tale and that lot, and he says, "Well, have you got any proof?" And that's when I rang you and says, mm. "Have you still got the messages on your phone?" You say, "Yeah, I'll send you them now, Dad." So he sent me the messages. I sent me this bloke. And at first, it was all over the number, wasn't it? I've got the messages, no problem, no blah, 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 blah. So then she must have been on at him again. And he <coughs> rings up again and says, um, we owe this money. I said, you're not getting no, I said, sorry, but you're not getting nothing. I says, we owe nothing. I said, and I said, I offered a 600 pound as a goodwill gesture. And they said, well, do you want to still offer her that? I said, no, I don't. I said, I don't, we've had to re the bitch, it's cost us a fortune. I says, and the way she's acting, um, we never ex expected to be like that. Yeah. And, um, he says, well, how are we going to sort it? I said, I don't know how you're going to sort it. I said, but remind her about that time when Mickey, me and Nikki flew over when she when the kennels got uh, flooded and we dug 10 tonne of, 10 ton of um, mud out, out of the kennels. <clears throat> I said, remind her about that. You know what I mean, the way she's treating us. Anyway, long story short, about two, three months it took, didn't it? And um, we had a friend in Ireland and a friend in England who knew... I knew a friend of a friend. A friend of a friend who knew this person. And they stepped in and says, we trust <laughs> what they said is right. One of them knew it were damn right, didn't they? One of them knew it were damn right because that person yeah. were there at the time. Um, and says all this. So anyway, it's, it got sorted out. Yeah. I, I, you, you know, Dad it sorted got... it out, yeah. <laughs> I got dropped very quick. I didn't like I was going to say. I did get a phone call. You better sort this out. Do you know who so-and-so so -and -so is? I says, yeah. Well, they're coming. <laughs> so when they knock at my door, I'll give you a bell. <laughs> didn't you, Nicky? Do you remember that? Big panic. Well, that, that was an actual good one. But that just proves to you that... Um, you don't realise don't, who your friends yeah, are. Yeah, you don't we, trust. We, we went and stayed. We went, uh, well, me, my brother Joe, um, me, me and Nicky, we actually went and stayed there for, for weeks and weeks. Uh, we did all dogs for a... Honestly, you've never seen a place like it. I actually went over for a weekend with you, didn't I? Yeah. And I ended up buying a pup for 1,200 quid. That never never run neither, <laughs> did it? That got rehomed as well without bleeding racing. So, so what are you saying about them kind of dogs, Dad? No, it... <laughs> <laughs> she can train, she can school a dog, yeah. oh, sorry, she can breed a dog. There's yeah. no two words about it. The food we saw it were there were brilliant and everything. Yeah. I think what it was, she saw it was a duffums because we were, we were novices, <laughs> weren't we? We were. We were idiots. Yeah, but for breeding, yeah. We were suckers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, yeah. I think she just stitched it up like a kipper. Have, but... you, have you ever actually been done like a kipper with any other dogs that had? I thought you were going to say women, I'm going to say hey, you, <laughs> your mother. <laughs> oh, I'm going to show her this. Mum, it wasn't me. <laughs>